begin at 5 with the weather. A quiet, mild day, lots of sunshine, temperatures in some place near 60. But we want to get over to Chief Meteorologist George Lessons to tell us about some unusual things that are going to be happening in our forecast. We're going to go through a season's worth of weather in the next 48 hours. We have temperatures, yes, 60 plus in many locations, but tomorrow evening, we have a chance of some storms. Storm Prediction Center has included Southwest Lower Michigan in a slate or a category two out of five for severe weather that would occur tomorrow evening between about 6 p.m. and 2 a.m. on a Wednesday. The risks will be from strong thunderstorm winds and large hail. So tonight, no issues during the daylight hours tomorrow. It is tomorrow evening from 6 p.m. to 2 a.m. where you may see some severe weather and some near record and record highs during the day tomorrow. The storm system will be uh, intensifying as it comes out of Kansas and that will be pushing northeast right over lower Michigan during the day tomorrow. Meanwhile, south of that warm front, we've got severe weather expected during the day tomorrow and temperatures are in the 60s right now, 61 in Grand Rapids. It is in the 70s to near 80 back to our west and we could be setting record February high temperatures here during the day tomorrow. So after that, we will see temperatures plummet and when you wake up on Wednesday morning, most likely we'll see some snow. We'll try to break it all down for you in detail hour by hour in the next several minutes. It is a really nice, comfortable day. George out there without out a jacket at all because you don't need one, but we're going to see some in interesting things happening in our forecast. We have got a very volatile next 48 hours, Juliet, today, just like the weekend. It was very nice. Lots of sunshine. Temperatures bottomed out on Saturday, and they've risen all the way into the 60s this afternoon. Can you believe it? Even warmer weather on the way, and that's why the 13 weather ball is red. Warmer weather ahead. We also have it blinking bright. We have some late afternoon and evening thunderstorms in sight. The 13 on your side weather ball sponsored by La Fontaine Ford Grand Rapids. A lot of haze in the air. That's why it's mostly sunny this afternoon and help boost our temperatures up very nicely. We have made 61 now in Grand Rapids, 65 in Kalamazoo, also 65 in Holland. It's already warming well up into the 50s off to the north. This represents a, almost a 17 degree jump over here in Holland, 13 degrees warmer compared to yesterday here in Grand Rapids. Got a warm front that is going to be pushing over to the north overnight tonight, but I think we're going to stay dry here in West Michigan. Models are trying to print out a couple of sprinkles or a shower off to the south and east of Grand Rapids, but I think we're going to wait until tomorrow evening for our active weather to move in. Throughout the day, it should be dry. This is six o'clock tomorrow evening. Focus your eyes on this area of showers and storms as that blossoms tomorrow evening. Uh, these are the ones that could be severe here in West Michigan. That's why we have that slight risk for severe weather near 70 tomorrow in some locations and then dropping to near 30 by Wednesday morning with snow likely accumulating on the ground and then that pushes on out and that's the last we'll see of that system this week. Rainfall, all of this will come tomorrow evening and when it does, it'll pour. Could be some hail embedded within that uh, rain as well as we get up to about three quarters to an inch of rain in a very short period of time and watch the snow accumulate. This will happen after about 2 a.m. on Wednesday morning and you're going to wake up to some snow possibly accumulating it on the ground by the end of the day on Wednesday. We could see up to an inch or two here in West Michigan. Yeah, very volatile. We'll be close to 70 tomorrow. Look at all this cold air looming to the west. This is how quickly it moves through Wednesday's afternoon high right around 34, but we'll recover to around 40 though on a Thursday. Long range outlook says despite all that, we're going to see high chances for warm temperatures to follow from the third through the seventh. High chances we'll see more precipitation as well. Tonight though, no rain, just breezy, partly cloudy skies, mid and upper 40s. That'll be a, a quite a strong south wind. Northern areas likely dry, mid 40s for lows. And here in the greater Grand Rapids area, there might be a couple of showers popping up, generally Kalamazoo to Ionia eastward. If they do happen, upper 40s to near 50. 13 on your side forecast. We've highlighted Tuesday with that moderate risk, or I'm sure, I'm sorry, a slight risk for severe weather in the evening. And then we've highlighted Wednesday with a limited impact winter weather forecast. We'll climb from 40 on Thursday all the way into the 60s at the end of the weekend and Monday of next week, and then cool back down into the 40s. Wow, this has been an incredible February. It really is, and nothing incredibly cold in that 10-day forecast either, George. You're right. 
Weekend went from very cold but sunny on Saturday to very mild here today. Even warmer weather on the way. And for late February, we have some very active weather. 13 weather ball is red. Warmer weather ahead. Coming up on Tuesday, Election Day, and it's also blinking bright. We have showers and perhaps stronger thunderstorms in sight. The 13 on your side weather ball sponsored by La Fontaine Ford Grand Rapids. Walk on the dog this evening. A lot of haze in the air, some high clouds. Uh, this looks like Margie having a good time just hanging out. Sandy, we're going to give you the green paw this evening and tomorrow morning for your walks. It's going to be very mild temperatures in the upper 50s and then low 50s in the morning. Average highs are only in the mid and upper 30s, so overnight lows in the 50s unprecedented. Today we had 8.0 out of a 10 point scale to create green energy from the sun. Tomorrow not quite as much. We'll start out with some clouds, but get into some afternoon sunshine. Winds will be a little bit stronger than they were today. Uh, tomorrow compared to today, 7.8 out of a 10 point scale. Right now, very little weather going on right now. Just some high clouds and a little bit of haze in the air over southwest lower Michigan. Uh, we're expecting uh, this to thin on out later this evening and then come back in late tonight, but no storms expected here tonight or during the day tomorrow. There is a slight risk tomorrow evening for showers and thunderstorms. Some of them could be on the stronger side with some hail and strong damaging winds. That's the reason why we're in the outlook area. But tonight, if there's anything at all, it'll be generally from about Kalamazoo Battle Creek over toward Ionia with a couple of showers. For the most part, we will stay dry here in West Michigan. It is tomorrow evening. This is right around seven o'clock in the evening. This area of storms over here, southern Wisconsin, northern Illinois, going to blossom throughout the evening. So that'll be the time period where there could be some strong to severe thunderstorms and then they'll move on out and you'll wake up on Wednesday morning to below freezing temperatures and some snow and the snow will continue into tomorrow evening or into Wednesday evening, not tomorrow. Most of the rain will come. If not all of the rain will come after dark tomorrow and there could be a half to three quarters of an inch before it is all said and done. Most of that will be done by Wednesday morning and yes, snow on the backside of this. First, the storms come through temperatures plummet 40 degrees during the day on Wednesday, maybe an inch or two or three by Wednesday afternoon. So after February record highs, we're going to see snow. Yes, yeah, 69 tomorrow would tie the February record high here in Grand Rapids, dropping to 34 on Wednesday, and that may be early in the day, and then recover to 40 on Thursday, a little milder over the weekend. Long range outlook through the 11th of March. From the 5th through 11th, high chances for warm temperatures and high chances for more precipitation during that one week period. Tonight, though, just breezy at the lakeshore, partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies later on. Mid 40s, Muskegon North, upper 40s, Holland, South, uh, South Haven, and southward mid 40s in the northern part of our viewing under area under partly cloudy skies here in the greater Grand Rapids area Kalamazoo to east of Ionia. There could be a late night shower or a thunderstorm, but here in Grand Rapids staying dry upper 40s to near 50 13 on your side forecast. Since last Tuesday, we've highlighted this Tuesday with a risk outlook that will be now a slight risk and then we've highlighted Wednesday with a limited winter impact because of the snow. Some of that will accumulate. 40 on Thursday, 51 Friday on the first day of March, mid 50s on Saturday and low to mid 60s Sunday before we see our temperatures drop from 64 next Monday, Monday all the way down into the 40s the following Thursday. Uh, George, the roller coaster temperatures are climbing back uphill now. <laughs> yeah, it was cold for your polar plunge it on was Saturday. Cold. Yeah, my feet were cold, but hey, it was so much fun. It was cold at Beer Fest as was well <laughs> on Saturday, but at least the sun was shining yes. and temperatures have now warmed up considerably and they're going to continue to rise through tomorrow. And that's why the 13 weather ball is red. Warmer weather ahead. It's also blinking bright. We have showers and thunderstorms in sight. The 13 on your side weather ball sponsored by La Fontaine Ford Grand Rapids. How warm did it get today? Temperatures exceeded the 60s, 62 here in Grand Rapids, well above the average high of 37. Made 65 down in Kalamazoo, came within three degrees of our forecast high, just within our target range. We've done that three days in a row now. We missed the record high set back in 1944 here in Grand Rapids, but set a new record in Kalamazoo, just shy in Holland and Muskegon, both those set back Back in 2000 tomorrow, if we make 69, that would tie not only a February high temperature, but it would also be a record for the day that would be back in 1976. 
broadcasting 70 in Kalamazoo. That would also break the record and also a record breaker in Holland. I think the wind off the lake may just be shy of your record in Muskegon, but it's certainly not out of the question. We've had some haze in the air today, some high level clouds, but no storms as of yet. We've got a warm front that's going to be going through later on tonight. That's going to set the stage for a slight risk for severe weather late tomorrow afternoon and evening into the late overnight hours. The main risks will be strong damaging winds and hail, a low risk, but not a zero risk for a, a possible tornado and a low risk for flooding. We have a moderate confidence in our forecast. Hour by hour this evening, we'll see some of those high clouds thicken up, but the models that usually track the uh, storms are not indicating any storms overnight here in West Michigan. That's going to wait until tomorrow evening. Here they are back to the West. This is around 7 o'clock tomorrow evening, and then they just blossom, move through very quickly uh, during the early evening hours and then move out very quickly. That will be replaced by strong winds, and this is, yes, snow on Wednesday morning from severe storms to snow in about 12 hours, and the snow will continue into Wednesday afternoon. In terms of rainfall, nothing here during the day. Tomorrow, all of that will come tomorrow evening. Evening. Throughout the afternoon, we may see a couple of sprinkles up to the north, but then through the day, uh, through the evening, a half to three quarters, maybe even an inch of rain in a very short period of time from Grand Rapids, Holland and Muskegon northward. And then following that cold front, after about two o'clock in the morning on a Wednesday, we'll start to see some of that snow move on in. Nothing up through then, but look at all the snow that develops. This could have some impacts on your travel in the morning commute into the afternoon. One to three inches of snow, not out of the question. So tomorrow we're just focusing on mainly evening showers and thunderstorms after some sunshine. Upper 50s north, 61 in Muskegon. That's because the wind is coming in off of Lake Michigan. 66 in Holland where it isn't quite coming in off the lake. Mid 60s up north, 68 in Greenville. Mainly evening showers and thunderstorms. Similar here in the Greater Grand Rapids area. A record tying February high of 69, 71 in Battle Creek. 13 on your side forecast. <laughs> Since last Tuesday, we've been highlighting this Tuesday with a severe weather outlook. This is a slight risk for tomorrow. That's why it's in yellow and then a limited impact winter uh, scenario during the day on Wednesday with a high of only 34 and that may be early in the day. 40 on Thursday, 51 on the first day of March, 59 Saturday and 64 on Sunday. Wrapping up the weekend, 65 next Monday will drop back down into the 40s by the middle of next week.